So we have just walked over the canal. There's Dinburn Road and Wern Road. And we're going to go through that gap because we're headed to Castle Bryn or something like, sorry, Dinas Bran. Castle Dinas Bran. Let me know if I'm saying it right. We've been wanting to do this walk for a long time. Oh, look at these mushrooms. Yeah, we've been wanting to do this walk for, for quite a while. And I think we chose the wettest day to do it, so. <laughs> but it's, it's not too bad. It's a, it's a warm autumn day, actually. It's a warm autumn day. You'll have that jacket off in a minute. I will. I've already been thinking about it. We're just coming up to our first sty after a, quite a decent steep, yeah. steep climb. Steep. Doesn't take very long. Steep ones. So, Clangollen, Clangothle. I'm not sure how to say it, but the town is back down there and Castle Dinas Bran, the castle ruins are on top. Whew. I'm guessing we just carry on straight up. Okay. Yep, that sign there says to the castle. Let's carry on. Looks like it gets even steeper. So we're gonna go straight up to Castle Dinas Bran, which is half a mile, brilliant. Up another steep track, but it's up there. I don't know if you can see it between those houses. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, excuse Zoe. Excuse Zoe. Zoe stinks as well. Looks like the crow leads the way. This is a scheduled ancient monument. The crow's watching you, Zoe, be careful. Maybe we should do a camp out here one night. A spooky camp out in the old castle ruins. So it's a medieval castle built by the local Welsh ruler, Prince Grufford Ap Madoc in the 1260s. very short active life being burnt by its Welsh defenders in 1277 in the face of the threatened English attack by supporters of Edward the first so that's where we are I'm gonna head up this track up to the ruins we're on the little zigzags I'm getting quite sweaty now we've got a flask of coffee in the bag well Zoe has I got a flask of cold drink it's a lovely walk, the beautiful Dee Valley. We are going to come and do the uh, white water rafting here soon. Just need some of my mates to say they'll say they'll do it as well. So just as we start to, I think near the last corner for the top, we hit a bit of blue sky, which is really nice. Bet you're getting some lovely photos, Zoe. Yeah. You can see how having a castle on this hill would have been such an advantage because you can just see everything all around you in this valley. Can't wait for a 360 view from the top. But it's just starting to clear. It might even clear enough so I can let the drone out for a little flight. Oh, there's some building works going on, Zoe. Some refurb. Lots of rocks up here. Wow. What a cool place. Yeah. Let's have a look over this edge. See if it is an edge. Looks like it will be. 
Yeah, I wouldn't want to fall down there. So yeah, they must be doing some refurb work on that part. It looks like the most intact part, so maybe they're just trying to pres preserve what they've already got. got. Don't know if this is rubble they're taking away or they've brought in, but I'm guessing that would have to be brought up here by helicopter. But the view through the valley over there is amazing. And we'll be able to find a nice, nice little sheltered place to, yeah. to sit and chill as well. Huge dugout running around the castle. Are they called ramparts? Let's have a look in here. Not going to go in any bits that are under construction at the moment. There you go. Can't quite go onto that bit yet. Okay. But to think some of these, well, most of these stones have been here for almost a thousand years. Pretty impressive. Definitely like to camp up here. Just in this little patch around here somewhere. I'll have to come back again soon. Well, let's check out what they're doing. The restoration. Following a structural condition survey in 2020, we're undertaking some repair and reconsolidation work on the gatehouse walls at Castle Dinaspirin. Well, if you look there, that's where it used to look like. So I hope you enjoyed that little walk. We uh, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's good. Definitely going to come back again. It is very windy, so we didn't get to get the drone up much. But we're going to head down now. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in, and thank you to everyone that subscribed. See you soon.